Well, usually they get a mirror. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Building Bridges Ministry. I'm Joe. This is my wonderful wife, Elisa. And today we're going to do a little bit of talking about relationships. We've got Valentine's Day coming up tomorrow. And so I thought today would be a good one to uh, do relationships. <clears throat> so what, are, what we're going to do is we're going to discuss a little bit of our past relationships. Kind of how we got to where we're at. And then we're going to tell you about how God has worked in our lives to create a relationship that we have now. So, yeah. all right, starting with you, honey, give a, a little bit of a background, what kind of early start relationships that you had. <clears throat> well, I guess um, I started dating a little bit when I was 15. Um a boy from school, uh, you know, we went to the roller skating rink, um, we hung out a little bit at a friend's house, um, I, I really had no, no idea what dating was all about, but, um, I don't even know if you could consider it a, like a real relationship, but it was just the beginning of dating. Um, having an interest in the um, opposite sex, I guess you would say. Mm -hmm. um, and I just, I guess it was a longing for him to have more time with me. Um, he had responsibilities on his, his father's property, and he rarely could come around. And um, so... With that, I enjoyed the time we had together. Um, you know, I enjoyed his company, um, but it, it was short-lived. Um, I, I guess I just uh, moved on, um, seeing that he couldn't come around a lot. I thought, well, this isn't really a relationship, so we both agreed to just let it go, and. Being in high school, of course, you know, you you look around and see who's around. Yeah. And um, I kind of, you know, was introduced to this one, another guy. Um, and I thought, wow, this is great. You know, we could go to a school dance. Um, so, so we did that. We did a school dance. We... Uh, went for short car rides as he was a driver at that point. He took his mom's car. Um, but I, I never really I never really had God in my life at that time. Um, at that point in time, when I was 15, we weren't made to go to church. Um, my parents were different... Um, different religions I guess you say um, my mom was more of a Baptist um, and my dad was Catholic and I was raised going to the Catholic Church um, I don't want to drag it out so um, I, I guess all that aside you're just in high school you have a crush um, someone sets you up on you know a date well this this person, this male, um, had had some bad relationships. So once again, he comes in and um, starts dating me. And um, the, I guess apparently the other women or girls in his life, they weren't very honest with him. They betrayed him. So of course he's going to think the same of me. So... There was a lot of distrust going in on both sides. Um, very young, like I said, very young we were. Um, and and no one really to talk to about a relationship. My mom and dad, it was always hush-hush, you know. You, you didn't talk about dating. You didn't talk about relationships. So um, it wasn't until later in my life that even after my first marriage I had um, I had three daughters um, just 
terrible relationships the whole way through until I I met Joe and he wasn't going to give up. Um, I was the type to want to push him away. You don't need this. Um, I just didn't think it was any different than any other relationship. So um, he, I'd say, oh, don't come over. Well, he'd come over, and <laughs> I said, you know, I don't know. I he just he just pressed on and wouldn't give up, and so I I went to his sister's we did you know fishing with the kids and I, I noticed how he enjoyed doing things with my kids it wasn't just about me and and ignore the children um, he paid attention to my girls um, he was coming into the relationship with no children and um, I really didn't think it would work but we <laughs> We tried really hard, I want to say, and um, many adventures. Many adventures later, we ended up uh, thinking about a wedding date. Um, it didn't take us long to plan the wedding, and it was absolutely gorgeous. And still walking down the aisle, I'm like, "Is this really happening?" <laughs> um, I was glowing, by the way. Yeah, I looked down there, and and it was just. He every when the girls walked down the aisle, they were all in the wedding party, and he just he just was proud of each and every one of them. And we let lit the candle. Um, all of us lit this one, you know, three candles and put them all into one as a family. And no, it was not easy. It was not easy. Um, one male and me and three girls. I mean, that's a house full of a lot of women and girls and fighting and scrapping and um he yeah he got frustrated didn't you yes i did i got a little frustrated here and there i had to go sit on the back porch a few times with my head in my hands yeah <laughs> so he got pretty frustrated but never gave up and um we lost our home to a flood um i mean we went through a whole lot yeah and um, I'm going to give it over to him, and he can kind of fill you in on from when we, after the flood, we bought this home. Um, and you can take it from there. Okay. Uh, I'll give a little bit of background on my, my relationships. Um, they were never, I, I started way earlier than I should have in, in any kind of relationships. Um, the women that I, I were was with, <clears throat> I always had a tendency to, to leave me high and dry for whatever reason. Um, so I always, I guess, had a little bit of trust issue as well, you know, expecting somebody to leave me at, at some point. So, um, and the relationship that I was in right before I met my wife, I got hurt pretty hard. And... You know, I wasn't looking. I, I was too busy doing my karate classes, and I was over at Lisa's sister's house one night, and Lisa asked me about who I was seeing or whatever. I was like, I ain't got time for that. <laughs> didn't know that she had interest in me. So, um, but when we started dating or whatever, and you know, I, I saw how she was with her daughters and how she cared so much for her daughters. It, it really encouraged me to to pursue the relationship and uh, as she said we, we ended up losing our house in 06 to the flood what a, a crazy crazy few years after that because we as she said we weren't following God and, and Jesus as, as we should have um, we knew who he was and, and kind of had an idea who he was but we just never really had that relationship with him um, so financially we were always in a pickle and so we bounced around from trying to rent then we tried a rent to own and that didn't work out and I fought tooth and nail to buy this that I didn't want to buy a house on Chase Ave and we ended up buying that and once the girls all moved out Lisa wanted to sell and of course I wanted to hang on to it <laughs> I had a really nice garage out there you know so that's what I was holding on to but once Lisa had this job, and she was introduced to a person that came to her work, invited her to, to church. 
And of course, that was a weekend. Me and her were scrapping in a uh, argumentative way, and she said, "I'm going to church." And I, I yell up the stairs because I was fighting with a wood stove at the time. So, well, you tell God thinks that he thinks I have I got broad shoulders, I can handle a lot. You know, I just need a break. She told me, you tell him yourself. <laughs> Off to church she went. She came back and she, the church was just a, a very welcoming church. Made her feel part of the church and she. It wasn't was, even in a church. It was in a bingo hall. Yeah. On the other side of a bar. Yeah. Amazingly enough. And uh, she came home. She was like, you got to check that out. It's just, it's not real. Mm. So I went the following week and there we are. We, we, we've been there ever since. And since we've allowed, since we've learned that God and Jesus wants us to have a relationship with him and allow them to work in our lives, our relationship has grown so much stronger. Um, I know we have... It's we not have, perfect. <laughs> it's not perfect. We have times of failing and, you know, we, we get bumps in the road, but we've learned to sit down and, and talk it out and, and try and find a common ground in where... You know the both of us are comfortable at and where we can grow and be strong together rather than being apart i know personally my wife has this thing with god and he has she has like a a, a direct line to him because everything <laughs> she asked for he's he's on top of so whenever i know i need a, a good prayer i make sure i text my wife and ask her to pray for us but um on the other side of that i'm, I'm grateful for Grateful for the person who introduced my wife to this church so that we can be on the road that we're on. And the word, the, the encouraging word we want to do for us today is that <clears throat> if you're struggling in a relationship, long as it's not a violent struggle, okay, you know, really get to your church. Get to your, uh, find a good Bible-based church. And don't settle for one. Just try several until you feel comfortable yeah and allow jesus to work in your life allow jesus to be the helping hand that everybody needs during a relationship to be that extra hand to keep you guys in line i mean when we put our when we got our marriage together it wasn't on a, a good solid foundation it was a little shaky mm -mm. but us allowing jesus to work on that foundation and to slide the stones where it needs to go to to build that foundation stronger. He is doing that in 100%, and I am so grateful for that. So that's what we wanted to share for us today. And just remember, Jesus is there to help us, and he will answer any time we need that help to reach out. He's got well. grace, too. And it, we church today was talking about grace, and we all need God's grace. We screw up more times than not. We're None of us are even close to being perfect. And we just we just go from day to day. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, you know, he, he hasn't let us down. I mean, yes, in certain situations we feel let down. But, you know, uh, at the end of it, it wasn't meant to be anyway. Yeah. So. 100%. Yep. So, um, so plug along at your marriage and uh, definitely don't give up. Yep. Let Jesus work in it. Yep. And uh, happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Damn.